Hey guys, it's Kay. I hope you're all well. Now today I'm going to be looking at installing Ubuntu Mate 20.04 onto my Raspberry Pi 4 and looking at some of the features it has to offer. Now until recently, the best approach for running Ubuntu on the Raspberry Pi 4 was to download a server image and then use the desktopify tool to configure the desktop environment of your choice. But this new Ubuntu release does away with all that fiddling around. And one of the great features of this release is that the Ubuntu kernel has been optimized to provide a slick desktop experience. You'll get the following welcome screen and it's quite useful as it guides you through the system. You get a nice little introduction and you get some information about the features, how to get started, there's a community page and a chat room. So if you have any questions or issues, you can get them answered there. You've also got quick access to the software installation library here. We can also change our desktop setup from here and also our color scheme. If I click on the color selection, it brings up another window and from here I can select my color theme. Now I'm gonna try out the blue theme. Now clicking on install will update the cache and then download and install the theme. And of course you need to put in your credentials to change anything on the system. Now once it's installed, you should get a message pop up saying the theme has been installed. And we just click on apply to apply the theme. And we just need to click on the back arrow to go back to the main menu. Now the other thing I wanna show you is desktop layout. Now as the name suggests, it basically changes the layout of your desktop. And the one I particularly liked was the Pantheon layout. And again, you just select it and click on use these settings. And the reason I like this is that it gives you a little Mac menu bar at the bottom. So we get great customization. Also, hardware accelerated 2D and 3D video is provided without any need for further setup. This provides 1080p 30 frames per second for YouTube video playback. Now, of course, to install this software, you're gonna need the Raspberry Pi, an SD card, and a computer. So without further ado, let's get started. The first thing you need to do is pop over to the Ubuntu Mate website and click on the download section. Scroll down to the Raspberry Pi section and there's a 32-bit version and a 64-bit version. Now I'm gonna be using the 64-bit version. Click to download the latest version, which is 20.04. Now there's a number of ways you can download this file, but I'm just gonna do a direct download. Now once you have the software image downloaded on your PC, you're gonna to need to get this image onto your SD card. And to do this, I'm gonna be using the software called Raspberry Pi Imager. You can get this from their website, all links in the description. Once you've started up the Pi OS Imager, click on Choose OS and scroll down and select Use Custom. Now this will open up a window and you just need to navigate to where you downloaded the file earlier. Select it and click OK, then click on Choose SD Card, then make sure you select the SD card on which you want the Ubuntu software going onto. Now in my case this is the 32GB card, and then finally click on Write, and now we just wait until the software is written onto the card and then verified on the card. Once it's finished, you'll get the following message. Just click on continue and now you can remove your SD card from your PC and put it into your Raspberry Pi 4 and power up. So on the first boot up, it's just gonna take a little bit longer to boot up as it configures everything. I've just speeded this up for convenience. Now, before we use Ubuntu, we're gonna to need to go through the configuration process. So the first thing is to choose your language and my language is English. Next, we need to choose our keyboard layout, and again, mine's English, UK. Then we just choose our region, mine's London, UK. Now we just need to set up our username and our passwords. And obviously, guys, choose something memorable. Now, if we press continue, it'll start configuring the system, and then it'll finally reboot. You'll then be presented with a login screen. You just need to enter the password you created earlier. And it's as simple as that. Now, installing software as a breeze, you just click on the software button, and it'll bring up all the categories, and you can just scroll through these. Now, I'm gonna install the Chromium browser as I prefer it over Mozilla to watch YouTube. You just click on the install button and then click on the top button to confirm the selection and finally apply changes. You'll then get a prompt to input your password. So do this and click authenticate and you're on your way. Now once it's installed the software, you should get the following message to confirm this. And it's as simple as that guys to install software. And to uninstall software, you just simply reverse the process. Now to access the Chromium web browser, go to the menu, scroll down to internet and you should find it there. Now, as I mentioned earlier, we've got hardware acceleration for 2D and 3D video. So watching YouTube at 1080p and 30 frames per second is a breeze. Anyway, guys, if you found this video helpful, give us a like and maybe even a subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one.